Ashmi. Today we are going to see about a store procedure. Store procedure means it is a group of transit SQL statements. Uh, if you have a situation where where we can write some query over and over again, you can say save that specific query as a store procedure and call it whenever we require. See, first of all, we can see how I am going to create a procedure. Create procedure and give the name as sample one and then what I am going to do is as begin select star from employee whatever we want we have we have, we have to write between begin and end only this is what is stored procedure and this is how and selecting all this and execute we can go we can create a store procedure then how we can execute this is like execute store procedure execute sample give the name of the c this is the one method that we can execute and the other keyword which we can use is exit exit sample one this is another way we how we can execute a store procedure and this where we can see is this is in a sample one uh, sample one database and then in program mode, if you go and see in a store procedure they will be having a this this sample one store procedure okay actually this name name of the uh, user defined uh, store procedure it should not be given with the prefix sp why because all the system store procedures are prefixed with sp so it is not preferable now to give an sp underscore for that our user defined store procedures why because if there is a same name between which we have given an x system store then there will be a conflict between with those two some those two procedures are uh, uh, store procedures then the other store procedure which i am going to create is a uh, with an encryption with encryption what is and with encrypt the store procedure with encryption is like If we give it a stored procedure with an a, with an inscription, then we cannot uh, like we cannot view the text with that. See, this is how I am going to create an stored procedures with the encryption. Okay, we think see if what we, what is the difference within a stored procedure with a, with the encryption and without encryption we will see. See here sample one and sample two stored procedures are there. In sample one, if I right click on that and script new query editor window here, I can see the text over it. What is the procedure and everything. And in the same thing, if I see in a for a sample to which is an with encryption then i can't say i will get an error showing that the text is in encrypted that is that we can't see an text for that encrypted stored procedure okay this is the main difference between both the scripting grace with encryption and without encryption and the next thing is what are the advantages of an offense store procedures we will see what is the word whenever this actually this code which we have we have written is there are so many like there are so many code the length of the code can be of many 
uh, of like thousands of lines will be there here i am using only a simple one so i can type it and i can reuse this uh, wherever i want this last statement but in actual in real time scenario there will be like thousands of lines with, which will be in a uh, procedure so, so, and for that the execution uh, which uh, where we are going to reuse this code with many times then with that all statements are written in an uh, some procedure and they are executed whenever required actually this reduces the network network traffic also and for better maintainability also such as the bug correction can be done logic change if there is any logic change uh, just we can go for that particular procedure and change the logic and so that it will does not affect the whole other other program in the other code okay this this is for better security reason also we can use for this advantages of stored procedures the okay this is what we have seen for today that's the advantages of a stored code creation of a stored procedures and with encryption and without encryption and the other thing is how we can drop that procedure is drop procedure and that and the name of the procedure should be given okay that is what drop procedure and the procedure name see this is how i, I can delete it i can delete the procedure okay see if i right click over it here and it was sample to is deleted this is how we can delete a procedure okay this is what for today what we have seen a odd creation of a procedure and this is a simple procedure without any input parameters or odd parameters and this is also with encryption that is the text of this procedure cannot be seen by a by the user okay that's it thank you thank you for listening have a nice day